My name is Nikolai Sakov. I'm the director of business development, and I represent uh, Sinta Core Company over here. Uh, Lucky to see that we are going through the quarter of the wall exhibition, and the, there are some interesting people who still try, still look at our slides. Let's go. I will introduce Sinta Core first. We are an IP company solely focusing on the Risk Five. The company was founded uh, in 2015. We are one of the first 11 founding members of uh, Risk Five Foundation, and we take a very deep, uh, very deep commitment with uh, this, uh, with Risk Five Foundation, and work with, with its committees, and do a lot of different works with them. Now we have 40 plus and around. 40 plus people. Our headquarters are, are at Cyprus and R&D offices are located in St. Petersburg and in Moscow. The main R&D office is in St. Petersburg. Uh, we are the company who are developing and licensing the real estate of the art Risk 5 core. All of our cores were already somehow tested by our end customers, uh, delivered to silicon and shipped to the market actually. So, our designs are really verified. Our, our product line, which I will show below, is already consistent and we are developing more new products, which you might hear maybe later on this year. So we are developing Risk 5 for, for a couple of years, so for four plus years. And uh, our, our core team came from the major, uh, major producer of different semiconductors with a really high level of expertise and strong engineering background. Uh, so additionally, we not only ship the uh, not only ship the IP core, but produce the SDK, produce different samples in silicon using our partners. We have the full collateral, the full tool chain. I will show it. I will show it later, and so on and so on. So we are full full stack provider for Risk Five. Another important thing is the full service to specialize the IP for, for your needs, for your workload. Uh, we have the special services which could include the adding some custom instructions or maybe some custom blocks or modify the memory structure and so on and so on. Everything what, what you will need just to improve the performance or power, uh, or power consumption or area which actually is your money. Uh, to, to improve these parameters. For sure, we deliver it with different tools and compilers, so you have support not only for the hardware, but from the software part. For every IP that we, we deliver to you, we could propose IP hardening service. So we take your IP and harden it to the factory, to the fab you, you want to be produced on, or to the so we can take any library and produce it on your node you actually need. Whether it's 28 nan nanometer or 40 nanometers or maybe 7 nanometers, it, it, is, it is possible. We also could provide system on chip integration and so software migration support. Uh, for example, if you, have, if you are using some other core in your SOC, you could simply take it out, put in the RISC-V core, uh, but make this core pin compatible and uh, software compatible as much as possible and help you to migrate your software to the risk 5 so you could replace your arm and stop paying the, uh, the different fees uh, to arm actually and switch to risk 5 and we will help we could help them in this uh, here is our SR baseline course we are starting from the smaller one SR1 and finish by the, the uh, biggest one is SR7, but it's it's not least. We we, we will have more, more developer development soon for sure. We we do not we don't stop to develop our product line. Uh, we don't have much time at the now, so I will show you briefly our portfolio at glance and SR1, SR7, just to understand what are the left and the right wing of our portfolio. If you take the table, uh, you might see that the SR1 is a small, is a small, smaller core with two or four stages pipeline, uh, only with only one priority label, but is highly compact. We could simply customize it to make it as small as possible, starting from even 10 kilogates. When we have the 10 kilogates, it could be 
implemented as small as like a one, one square millimeter, so it's quite cheap. So the entry level, this is an entry level core, and this core is fully open source. It has its own repository on the GitHub, and this repository is one of the most popular repositories in GitHub of all the world, actually. Uh, you could simply download it, implement it in FPGA, uh, or maybe in your, in your own process without any restrictions, and you could use it in any commercial, pro uh, even in the commercial products. The license doesn't restrict you to do this. You could sell it in your product, actually. All our designs are com fully compatible with major EDA flows, with synopsis, Cadence, Cadence Mentor, it's fully compatible with them, so you could simply choose uh, EDA you want. And our, our big advantage is that we use clean slate design in System Verilog. No rocket, no dif different additions, but fully System Verilog. So if your other IPs are using Verilog, they will could be easily combined to each other. That's all. Uh, if you look for, um, if you look at any other uh, course in our family, you might see that SR3 is going deeper. We starting to have atomic instructions. We starting to have 64-bit possibility, and increasing the stages of the pipeline. We also starting to have branch prediction and adding user priority level to have different. Uh, uh, di di different memory protection levels at all. But all our commercial cores are able to be launched in symmetrical or heterogeneous uh, multi-core configuration with, with core coherency, memory coherency, and, uh, and that's all. So you, we might create a multi-core design based on your needs, based on all our commercial cores. SR3 is, is our basic commercial core. SR4 uh, is the SR3 plus uh, floating point calculation. So we're adding F instruction, instruction extensions. Uh, SR5 is actually next stage, uh, next, ne next gen is uh, more, more deep stage. We're adding the memory management unit. Uh, actually adding full uh, memory virtualization system and we are able to launch uh, Linux on it. So SR5 is actually our startup core if you need uh, full operation system support. Uh, we could compare the SR5 with somewhere around Cortex-A5 or something like that. So it's a s similar core. SR7 is our super scalar out, out of order out of order execution device. It, it, it has been one of the first out of order 64-bit uh, devices made in silicon. The silicon will be available later this year. Just a brief overview of our SR1 core. As I, as I told you before, it could be as small as 10, 10 kilogates as possible, just because we are able to uh, get rid out of interrupt controller, debug controller, or maybe do the multiplying division unit uh, to be optional too. Here is the link on the GitHub where you could simply download all our design, but not only the core itself, but also the binaries which implement this to the most popular uh, FPGA board, so you could simply quickly evaluate it. SR7 is the most, perform uh, most performable uh, core right now. We have the implementations on 1.2 gigahertz at 28 nanometers as, as at the SMC. Our core mark is 5.12 megahertz, which is quite high uh, per megahertz, which is quite high number in the industry. Uh, three different priority levels. And we have different microarchitecture tem templates with uh, two issue, two way implementation or four way implementation. So it's ba based on your task, based on your needs, we could implement different uh, uh, versions of our pipeline. All of them include out of order issue and out of order completion with in order retirement. Our products are delivered using the uh, industry standard tool chain. It includes GCC, it includes GDB. Uh, we have our own uh, EDE ba based on Eclipse. 
and uh, also we are working with the different uh, developers of dif different EDA. For example, uh, ER Workbench has full support of RISC-V models and Syntacore uh, Syntacor RISC-V processors too. Uh, we also work with different simula simulators like QMU, so you could even simulate your product without having any hardware, so just using the model represented in QMU. We also work with the different third-party debug tools, uh, for example, Segert, JLink, ER uh, debugger, Lauterbach debugger, and so on and so on. Uh, to, to finish my presentation, I just would like to go through the moments why you should ch choose Syntacore as an IP provider for, for your product. First of all, we are fully focused on risk 5 so we know this infrastructure uh, this ecosystem very well we were the founding member of risk 5 foundation uh, second we have uh, the silicon proven design and all our cores already have been tested and verified by multiple our end customers and the third we have the tonkey ip customization and workload delivery services so we work at RTL level, at tools level, at compiler level, or even at software level, if you want, uh, to deliver the best performance or cost or area or uh, uh, power optimizations which you want in your project. So, thank you very much. If you have any questions, you could go to any booth. We, we, we will be glad to meet you there. Thank you.